Hello, friends. In the Mississippi State area, there are about one million feral pigs living. They destroy the environment, polluting water sources and wetland. Competition for habitat with many different native species. Their adaptation has turned them into an increasing challenge, causing negative impacts on the environment and community life. With their rapid reproduction rate, they pose a major challenge in controlling and managing feral swine in Mississippi. Using boats to navigate the swamps and hunt during the day is considered an effective method to face the challenge of wild boars. Although they are usually active at night, on hot days, they can also appear during the day. Using the boats helps groups of hunters access flexibly and take advantage of the special swamp environment. Each day, a group of hunters can hope to catch approximately one or two wild boars, although this number can fluctuate depending on many factors, including group size, hunter experience, and density of wild boar in the hunting area. The use of hunting dogs isn't only an important part of tactics, but also helps hunters face the challenges of fleeing wild boar. Movements across the marsh grass is also carried out with the assistance of hunting dogs to optimize search and harvest capabilities. Boats also play an important role, helping hunters move efficiently and avoid the unique difficulties of swamp environments. Swamp environments are often quite difficult to navigate, requiring certainty and technique on the part of the hunter. The agility and ferocity of wild boars present a unique challenge, requiring hunters to be cautious and alert when hunting. In the state of Mississippi, the swamp rat population is a significant problem with an estimated 100 million animals higher than any other state in the United States. Swamp rats, rodents, often live in marshy and flooded areas. The ability to adapt well to the Mississippi environment has helped swamp rats thrive, seriously threatening crops and the ecosystem. Their food is diverse. They eat all types of trees and grasses around the swamps. Their population is flourished and Mississippi farmers took measures to deal with the swamp rat population. Swamp rat hunting is the most effective control method in Mississippi, where farmers and hunters work together to maintain a balance between humans and the animals throughout the year. Rats can be hunted during the day or at night, they can continuously move on the water to search for food during the day. Farmers can use boats to travel across the swamp to look for traces for swamp. Rats, mice often move from the grass rows on both sides of the swamp and swim on the water surface. When mice are detected, quickly use hunting tools to catch them. Hunting skills are very important. When the boat moves on the water, standing still and accurately aiming at the mouse is a difficult problem. You really need to practice a lot before participating in the journey of hunting swamp rats. Swamp rats will be harvested immediately so as not to affect meat quality. Every day, 
the average Mississippi farmer can harvest about 10 to 20 swamp prats. Their meat is used a lot by people because of its unique taste and many nutrients. The carp is a popular freshwater fish is causing challenges for Mississippi farmers. Carps are believed to have entered Mississippi from Europe in the 19th century when they were introduced for tilapia farming. However, they have quickly become invasive fish and caused many problems for the local environment. This fish is capable of living in many different environments from large ponds and lakes to rivers, showing flowing dams and brackish water with low salinity. The carp populations are especially rich in Mississippi, with an estimated 100 million fish. These carps have a rapid reproduction rate, as each female can lay up to 100,000 eggs at a time, and that has caused a sudden increase in the number of carps in a short period of time. To deal with this problem, Mississippi farmers have applied a number of measures, including using nets to catch these fish. They use, say, nets to catch fish. This net can harvest fish more quickly than using other methods. Fish are collected in one area, so the farmers will use these nets to catch them in a boat compartment. In addition, they also use long nets to catch fish. The net will be placed permanently at one end of the bank and stretched across the other end. After spreading the net, the boat will move and exert a large force on the water to make the fish move and get in the net. After about 20 to 30 minutes, the net will be picked up to harvest the fish. When the fish invasion was at its strongest, in about three days, farmers caught 96,000 pounds of invasive Asian carps. Once harvested, carps can be used for many different purposes. It can become a popular food source processed into many different delicious dishes. Wild boars are omnivores with a diverse diet, including grass, leaves, fruits, seeds, and even small animals. They are highly capable of digging and use this technique to find food. The omnivorous nature and digging ability of wild boars can have negative consequences for the ecological environment. When born, baby wild boars have light brown fur with black spots on the neck and shoulders and weighs about 20 to 25 kilograms. They can stand and walk immediately after birth and find their own food after about two weeks of age. Although they have lived in their mother's herd, when they reach two years old, they will separate from the herd to find a mate and start their own family. Wild boars can cause great damage to the environment. They dig up tree stumps, turn over grass and soil, which can lead to destruction of tree root systems and thinning of forests a loss of biodiversity. The world's wild boar population is increasing, estimated to be about 100 million, with the majority in Asia being 
and Europe being 15% and America being 5%. Wild boars also affect forest woodlands by digging in search of food and water, causing ecosystem destruction and hardship for other animals. Although many measures have been taken to control the wild boar population, their numbers continue to increase sharply due to their ability to reproduce rapidly. tropical, temperate mangrove. Broadleaf and coniferous forest areas are all places where feral pigs cause the most negative impacts. The Meinjäger Pro Rigid Panel Feral Boar Trap is not only an effective tool in controlling feral boar populations, but is also a breakthrough with advanced technology, utilizing solar energy to bring convenience and high performance. Specific installation instructions and related information below will help you better understand the power of technology and the trap's unique design. Started with assembling the trap panels, each with simple legs for assembly using screws or dowels. Join them together using connecting rods to create the basic frame for the trap. The ability to easily and quickly install is a strong point of the trap. The trap door is located at the bottom and can be opened manually or electrically, providing great convenience and flexibility. This helps improve efficiency and reduces effort required on the part of the user. The bait is placed inside the trap using foods such as fruits, vegetables or food that can attract wild boars to increase the likelihood of attraction. This is an important part of optimizing the trap's ability to catch large numbers. The trap uses solar energy through a panel placed on the top, providing power for the trap door, motor and signal lights. This model is not only efficient, but also demonstrates a commitment to renewable energy sources. When wild boars approach, the motion sensor will activate the trap door, trapping them inside quickly and effectively. This proves the accuracy and quick response of the trap in all situations. Traps are often placed in areas with high wild boar densities, such as forests, fields, and grasslands. This helps optimizing the ability to capture and control wild boar's populations in the most effective way possible. The Jaeger Pro Hard Plate Mine Trap is not only popular in the United States, but is also widely used in many countries around the world, such as Canada, Europe, and Asia. This demonstrates the diversity and flexibility in global application. Each night, traps are capable of catching 10 to 30 wild boars making them an effective and sustainable solution for population control. This efficiency not only brings immediate benefits, but also maintain ecological balance. Users can harvest two to four traps per day, 
creating the ability to control 730 to 1,460 wild boars per year. This demonstrates the trap's versatility and wide applicability. With the Jaeger Pro Hard Plate Mine Wild Boar Trap, it is not simply a wild boar control tool, but also a symbol of modernity and convenience in population management, bringing efficiency and convenience to farmers, users who are passionate about hunting. The Boar Buster system uses an innovative design with a circular outer and an inner shell to effectively trap wild boars. This overview sets the stage for the assembly and operating details that follow. The assembly process begins with the construction of the inner ring, which alternates doweled and unbolted panels. The trap pins are then securely inserted into the grooves on the inner ring plate. Then the rollers are attached, one of which is removable for disassembly. The outer ring is constructed by aligning the panels with rollers and fixing the connections. Finally, the trigger components including the latch arm bar, winch leg and electronic latch are installed. According to a study conducted by Texas A&M University, the boar buster system is 80% more effective than some other types of traps. Wild boars can be caught in all sizes, from piglets to adults. This trap also traps the same number as the mine trap. There are a number of other types of wild boar traps to deal with this invasive species. According to statistics from the USD Department of Agriculture, Texas has become a symbol in the use of trapping and using dogs to hunt wild boars. In 2022, Texas farmers destroyed more than 1 million wild pigs using more than 1 million traps and more than 100,000 hunting dogs. These measures have played an important role in protecting farms and rural areas. Electric traps are an effective method, but also risky it uses electricity to kill wild boars. When a wild boar comes into contact with an electric wire, it'll receive a strong shock and may be injured or die. This has helped farmers control the numbers of wild boars on the farm in minimizing the damage caused by them. In addition to electric traps, spring traps have also been used widely. A spring trap is a trap system containing a powerful spring. When the wild boar steps into the trap and activates the mechanism, the spring will pop out and catch the boar. This method is also effective and especially useful when farmers want to catch wild boars in large numbers. However, there is a risk that the spring could cause injuries to the people if not used carefully. Therefore, consideration and management of spring traps is an important part of using this measure. In addition to electric traps and spring traps, the use of cage traps has also been applied by American farmers to control wild pigs. 
cage traps. Use cages or pins to capture wild boars. When the pig enters the cage to get food, the cage door will automatically close, trapping the pig inside. While these traps are effective in killing wild boars, they're not always a safe option. Especially at night, when wild boars often attack farms, farmers face danger when using these measures. Therefore, farmers must be cautious and follow safety rules and specific instructions when using these methods. The fight against wild boars not only requires patience and technique, but also requires determination and a deep sense of the nature of this animal. American farmers have demonstrated their creative spirit and ability to find solutions in this fight. In the fight against wild boars, one of the traditional measures that American farmers have applied with amazing effectiveness is the use of hunting dogs. This helped them control the devastation caused by wild boars to farms and rural life. Confronting wild boars requires determination and creativity, and the use of hunting dogs is an important part of this story. Although using hunting dogs is effective in controlling the wild boar population on farms, it also possesses a series of challenges and issues worth considering. First, many hunting dogs are needed to perform these tasks. Wild boars often move in groups, and facing large herds require a large number of hunting dogs. This means farmers must invest in raising and training a team of reliable hunting dogs. In addition, the safety of hunting dogs is also an important issue. Wild dogs are not always easy to catch and they can defend themselves by attacking hunting dogs. This requires farmers to have patience and experience in training and managing hunting dogs, ensuring that they do not get injured during their tasks. In recent years, the use of hunting dogs has become an indispensable part of the fight against wild boars in the United States, especially in states like Texas, where wild boars cause a lot of damage The diversity in use of hunting dogs has helped farmers respond to a range of challenges. They must gather knowledge and experience to find effective solutions, not only related to protecting agriculture, but also ensuring the safety and sustainability of the environment and the surrounding communities. So since these solutions have been affecting in preventing the growth of colonies of some invasive species, do you believe in any other better solution? If so, please don't forget to share your comments and opinions down below. Plus don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to support our channel with our upcoming videos. And lastly, don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can watch it and enjoy it as well.